Hey everyone, welcome back to Grade Gain, where every student can make progress. Today we're going to be looking at another of our required practicals. This one for the GCSE Combined Science. It's a physics practical and it's part of required practical 15, looking at the resistance of things. In order to do this practical, you're going to need a set of instructions which are downloadable from my web shop. Web address is appearing right here. This tells you everything you need to know about how to do the experiment. You're also going to need a metre rule with a piece of wire on it. That makes it easier for us to make the measurements. You're going to need a voltmeter. You're going to need an ammeter. We'll need a power supply. In this case, we're going to use two cells. They're in holders here. You're going to need some connecting wires. A pair of crocodile clips to connect to your wire on your meter rule. And last, but by no means least, you're going to need a results table. The results table is also downloadable from my web shop. A reminder of the URL just there for you. We start off with setting up the circuit as detailed in the required practical notes. When building a circuit, always start at the power supply. In this case, we have two cells, the first of which you can see here, and the second here. You'll notice that they have the positive terminal marked. You're going to need to make sure that you connect them the same way round, so we connect positive to negative with our cells. From there we connect our power supply to our ammeter, so our ammeter is connected in series. Our ammeter then connects to one of the long wires, like so, with a crocodile clip on the end and that is attached to the end of our meter rule and the wire there. The other end of our meter rule is connected using a crocodile clip on our lead and then connected back to the power supply. Our voltmeter is connected in parallel to the two crocodile clips by plugging into the back of the sockets on the crocodile clips, like so. Now, before we do any actual measurements for our circuits, we do a quick preliminary investigation to make sure that we have sufficient voltage from our cells and that we can get some accurate readings at a suitable range of readings on our meter rule. So we turn the voltmeter on and we turn the ammeter on and we connect up the circuit at 10 centimeters. So now we can see we have a suitable voltage and we have a suitable current reading. We then move the crocodile clip to one meter and check again to make sure we have a suitable voltage reading and a suitable current reading. We can see there that we have some valid readings. We're now ready to start taking our measurements. These are going to be recorded in our results table that looks like this. Now in order to plot a graph we're going to need a minimum of 8 points preferably 10 and seeing as how we're working with a meter we can go up in 10 centimeter steps from 10 to 100 centimeters. Our first value at 10 centimeters we've got a potential difference of 1.31 and a current of 0.66. We then move the crocodile clip along to 20 centimeters
making sure that we got a good connection and we record the voltage and current again and we repeat until we get to one meter and there we have a completed results table using Ohm's law we now need to calculate the resistance to do this we divide the potential difference in volts divided by the current in amps you can now complete this results table using these results you can now check your calculations against my calculations we're now going to plot a graph of our results length is going to go on the x-axis that's the horizontal one and resistance is going to go on the y-axis the vertical one we can see that the length of wire goes up to 100 and our resistance goes up to 21.27 so we need to choose an appropriate scale 0 to 100 going up in steps of 10 on the x-axis is perfect and on the y-axis going up in fives will give us a suitable scale don't forget to label your axes and include the units and now we can plot our points now we can add a line of best fit if we look at this it looks pretty much like a straight line and there we have our completed graph And that completes required practical 15 part A. There is a second part looking at resistors in series and parallel. The video for which is in the playlist that's appearing right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel, Grade Game, where every student can make progress. Good luck with your GCSEs.